Whoa. Is my guardian angel. Guardian angel? If you hadn't helped with the renegades, I'd be out of work right now, or worse. <laughs> That's more Matt's doing. Hey, don't be modest. On the house, I'm Nicholas. Tell me about Luan. Frank says women like her were given call signs based on cocktails. Bloody Mary, Margarita Rocks. Luan is hot shit with a hot temper. You do not want to get on her bad side. Cross her once and that's it. Game over. So, how do things work in this place? The fisheye? They work better than anyone predicted when Frank set up shop. Two days and the peacekeepers will take it over or the renegades will blow it up. And nobody blew anything up. It's the safest place around by far. Neutral turf. Even bandits come here just to hash out deals over booze. Anyone can relax without the threat of violence. Rivalries are checked at the door. That's a good place to have. Do you know Frank well? Not old military buds well, but well enough to know back then he was a big shot. A special forces commando, a night runner, quite the high-ranking mucky muck. Until one mission, he led people into the television tower, ended in a massacre. After that, he ditched the uniform and started the fisheye, took out a new lease on life, but he became a haunted man. Frank relives that tower mission, start to bloody finish every day. The booze helps him get through it all. I've seen him on a bender. Drinking like that isn't helping him get through anything. Then imagine what he's like when he's not drinking. I gotta go. Wait. You interested in making a bit of money? And how would I do that? It's a simple job. There's a metro station under the fisheye. Used to be UV lamps in the metro that kept the infected at bay. But they stopped working because every tunnel and station is infested. What happened? Might be the lamps, but I doubt it. We've replaced them recently. Mm, maybe something cut the cables. But what? It's not like the infected bit through them. It'd take a lot of biters to accomplish that. On the other hand, heard a couple stories like that about infected who work together. Somehow coordinated. As if they're smarter than we think. Once, this guy at the bar told me he fell into a trap. He claimed a group of biters herded him into a dead end in a dark zone, intentionally. They didn't act like a typical mindless swarm. Said he only managed to survive by climbing onto a trash bin to reach a fire escape above the pack. But no, I wouldn't put much faith in that. If that were possible, I think we'd see it more often. Could be a blown fuse. Best bet would be to start at the electrical room. So, you want me to turn on the lamps? Yeah, get to the electrical room. For all we know, could just be a blown fuse. If so, you could just reset the main power supply from there. Before you go, got a little something that'll help you out. A house specialty. Guaranteed to warm those biters' bellies. Just a bit of house hooch, a bottle, and an old rag. But powerful stuff. Or you can always just sneak in past the biters if you don't want to make a ruckus. Once you turn on the UVs, they'll fry anyway. And you won't end up wasting good hooch. All right, I'll take care of it.
I'm in the control room. Nice. I'm just fine. Let's switch. <laughs> hmm. Nicholas, the switch didn't work. Damn it. There's another way. Up for giving it a try? Let's finish this. There should be an electrical room with military generators further below. Look for an elevator. Maybe you can go down the shaft. What are military generators doing in the metro? Seems the tunnels work great for moving troops around the city. Only first they had to clean the infected out. And to do that, they needed a lot of light. That called for a lot of power.
Nicholas, it worked. Generators are up and running. So the intel wasn't some booze-induced fantasy. Now get back up here. I got some beers on ice with your name on them. Apparently gaining control of the radio wave was the work of the door. I'm impressed. Honestly, I didn't expect you to go all the way down. I finish what I start. Luan was right. You're one tenacious son of a bitch. What else can I do you for? How do you know so much about military installations? I'm a bartender. I'd get GRE guys in here, incognito of course. Military brass, trying to lie low, even big shot ministers of whatever. After a few generously poured shots, they all had stories to tell. I learned about the Metro generators from the skittish guy in glasses. The retired history teacher type. All buttoned down. Needed to spill his guts to someone. Later, they hanged him for war crimes. Hey, where'd that chemical gunk I ran into come from? It was created to fast forward the infection to the terminal stage. Basically kill the infected with a form of premature aging. Wasn't supposed to have any effect on the healthy or recently bitten, like you and me. But it didn't work out that way. So that's why my biomarker goes crazy when I get near it. Yep. But that's not the worst of it. Some say the military knew how lethal the stuff really was. Suited them to finish off every last one of us. Why? Only the colonel knows, but the old bastard never leaves his fortress. But if you really want to know the truth about the GRE, just check out their labs. They're scattered all over town. Lord, the shit that must have gone down there. I gotta go. Thanks, Aiden. With skills like that, you'll find plenty to do around here. But watch what you get yourself into. <laughs> <laughs>